in macular degeneration, we have um, there are a number of different treatment regimens that people adhere to. Overwhelmingly, the most common is what we call a treat and extend um, treatment paradigm. So patients are treated until they have disease stability, um, and then we try and extend the interval as long as we can so that patients don't have to come as often as they might otherwise need to, and um, their disease remains stable, and they don't have to get as many injections as they might otherwise need to. So overwhelmingly, that's the most common way that we treat patients with macular degeneration but interestingly there's pretty little evidence out there or the evidence is pretty sparse to support its use so in that Cantreat study which is a Canadian multi-center randomized clinical trial we set out to show that it really is a pretty good way of treating patients a pretty safe way of treating patients and with fewer visits and fewer injections you can get the same visual outcomes so we randomized you know 580 patients 50 50 half of them got monthly injections of ranibizumab and the other half um, were randomized to this treat and extend regimen and we showed that there were they really did just as well in fact at year one the treat and extend group did a little bit better than the monthly um, group which we we didn't expect to find we were hoping that they would be no worse and certainly they were no worse and perhaps a little better so it's reassuring since most of us do it anyway it's uh, it's good to know that there's there's now strong level one evidence to support it yeah I mean I, th I think most of the evidence to date suggests that more treatment is better um, but obviously not everyone, you know, macular degeneration is probably a spectrum of disease and there are people with more severe disease that more need more and more frequent injections and those with probably different types of macular degeneration that probably need less. So I think, you know, that, you know, a, a dosing regimen like a treat and extend regimen allows you to personalize uh, treatment to a patient's needs, but certainly less, you know, it's owners. These are elderly patients. Um, they come almost invariably with a family member. Often that family member has to take time off work, take time off for their lives to bring their, you know, their, their parent or their spouse in for an appointment. And it's, um, it's difficult, particularly in a country like Canada where we have winter. Um, it can be difficult for patients to make it, if they, especially if they come from a long distance. So if they can get the same gains with fewer visits and you know, the unpleasantness and the discomfort of an injection, if they can minimize that, that that's ideal.